Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the ISU Figure Skating European Championships 2023 in Espoo, Finland. This is a small medal award ceremony for women short program. A kind reminder to the athletes that these are provisional medals and you will get the real medals quite soon. First, uh, third, and the winner of the ISU small bronze medal from Switzerland, Kimi Repon. Second, and the winner of the small silver medal from Belgium, Luna Hendricks. <laughs> and first, and the winner of the small gold medal from Georgia, Anastasia Gubanova. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to the medalist, and we will continue now with the press conference. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the press conference for Women Short Program. In first place, Anastasia Gubanova from Georgia. In second place, Luna Hendricks from Belgium. And in third place, Kimi Ripon from Switzerland. Congratulations to all for top three. And we will start uh, questions for all of you three. And um, Anastasia can answer first, and, and then Luna, and third, Kimi. So what are your thoughts about today's short program and the audience over here at ESPO? Anastasia, you can start. Uh, yeah, I was very happy with my Of course, it was not но, в принципе, получилось выполнить э, все. Э, получила огромное удовольствие от э, своего катания. И очень приятно, что здесь, в Финляндии, так по-доброму и искренне поддерживает э, всех спортсменов публика. Basically, I'm pleased with my uh, perf uh, performance today, but it was not everything was uh, ideal. Um, but basically, I did everything I could, and I uh, it was uh, really nice uh, to ha and really enjoyed my skating, and it was nice to feel the support of the audience here in Finland. And then Luna for the same question about your thoughts. Um, this was not the level I've been skating on today um, and I'm really disappointed about today's short program but um, yeah we will fight even more on Saturday and then give me please um, I was really happy with my performance it was my first Europeans and 
I've been dreaming about going to Europeans for a really long time. And I just wanted to skate my best, and I did not think that I would make a podium in the short program. Um, so I'm really happy, and I'm really looking forward to the free skate on Saturday. Thank you. And, and then, Anastasia, uh, you did your season best today. So what are your expectations for the Saturday's free program? Я думаю, нужно забыть сегодняшнюю короткую программу и на произвольную выходить уже с холодной головой и также просто выполнять свою работу и получать удовольствие. Um, I think you have to uh, just to forget about the short, pro short program and just go into the free skating with a cool head and do my job and enjoy skating. So Luna, uh, like you said before, you did have a few mistakes today, but uh, on going to the Saturday's uh, uh, free program, what are your thoughts about that? And um, I just want to um, try to get my mind just free, and then on Saturday I I have to start all over again and just doing my thing, and I know I can do it, so I just have to be confident enough to show you all. Thank you, Luna. And, and Kimi, you did also the season best, and I think that this is one of those that you are going to be here in the best three after short program. So um, what are your, th your thoughts about Saturday's free program? Um, I think the same thing. We just, Saturday is another day and another program. And I just skate my program like I always do, and I try, try to skate the best. And like today, I want to show my personal best, and we'll see. Thank you very much for all three of you. And uh, then it's um, media who is here on site. Now you have possibility to ask questions, so please raise your hand, and we will pass the microphone. Yeah, over there back first, on third row, yeah. Hello, um, I have a question for the three skaters. Um, you will have a day off tomorrow. Um, do you have anything planned for today, for tomorrow? And would you prefer um, to have a day off or to have the free program the next day after the short program? На самом деле, на каждом соревновании по-разному. Когда-то нужно, чтобы был день перерыва, чтобы полностью восстановиться и на произвольную программу уже полной сил выходить. А Когда-то и, в принципе, без выходного хорошо <laughs> по ситуации. So, well, actually, there's always uh, it's different for each competition. So, in some competitions, you really would like to have a day uh, in between to re fully recover and to go out full power in the free skating. And another day, uh, in some other competitions, you just feel fine uh, without a day off. Uh, so, for me, it's almost the same. I think for this competition, it's good that I have a day off. Um, to recover and to get my mind mindset back. Um, and for tomorrow, I just want to have a good training to get the confidence back and try to enjoy skating. Um, um, I actually like both. <laughs> um, I, d I don't care. Um, Tomorrow I will just train and I'll take a bit look at the city. Um, and if we have a day off, then we have more chance to take a look at the cities. So <laughs> I really like this. But for the performance, I like both. And then we have a gentleman over here in front. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a delight to watch you skate, all, each one of you. Uh, Anastasia, uh, the, the rink was completely silent as you skated. Uh, and you told me, I like it, 
I like to create that atmosphere and to have something like that to skate to. I wanted to ask you, how do you manage to hypnotize a whole drink as you did? What's your secret? Hypnotize. На самом деле не знаю, это происходит само собой, когда я погружаюсь в программу, я стараюсь в это же состояние погрузить у всех зрителей. И, видимо, это у меня получается. I don't know, it kind of happens by itself, uh, but when I'm in my program, I try to really pull everybody into the program, and apparently um, it worked out. So, other questions over here on site? Um, there, over back? Down with the hat. The question goes to Kim Europol. As you came to ASPO a few days ago, what did you expect to end up on the first day on the third place? Um, I did not. I tried to. Did not have any expectations regarding the place. Um, I just came here and I wanted to show my best, and I tried to skate clean. And well, the scores and the the place, I I can't do anything. I just can skate clean and I'm really happy that I did this. And well, now the third place <laughs> is um, a really big thing for me and I'm really happy. Thank you. And um, yeah, over here, a lady. Uh, a short question to uh, Kim S. She's, a new, she's new to those press conferences. Uh, Di any difference for you in competing at junior level and senior level? Emotional, physical, pressure, excitement? Um, I try to make every competition the same good. Like, I try to skate clean in every competition. And I also really, really enjoyed Junior Worlds. It was also a really, really nice atmosphere. And it was my first Junior Worlds. And I was really happy with how I skated, and it's quite the same here today. But of course, it's different in senior level, and I'm really happy um, to be able to compete in seniors also in Challenger Series this year. And my goal is, of course, to be also at the World Championships. Um, yeah, those are like my goals. So, question over there, back. A question to Luna. Um, you have competed, um, you know, this same venue here this season, the Grand Prix Finlandia, and then you came second after Maimi Hara. Uh, but you know, this competition, you know, that you are, I think, you know, that you are in the different uh, position. I mean, you know, the, you are the one to be challenged by everyone. So uh, can you talk a little bit about you know the being in a different position, and then you know if you have a, you know the different sort of pressure. I didn't understand the question. Um, so you mean that I'm. Like in Finlandia, uh, the Grand Prix, the Grand Prix, I was second, and you're going to win a title. So, uh, do you feel any sort of any different uh, pressure? Um, no, I really try to um, put it away and just focus on myself, and I just want to skate as good as possible for myself and not for anyone else. 
and that's what I keep in mind. Um, but today it was just not my day. Um, I know I can do much better and I wanted to show it today, but um, it didn't came out. So hopefully I can show it on Saturday because it's another chance and um, I try to take it. So other questions over here on site, please, here in front. Thank you again. It's for you, uh, Luna, and I'd like to elaborate on that. Last year, same championships, you were second also, uh, but you were laughing, you were so happy. Uh, here you are second again, you have that day off. What will it be, how do you envision that day off to make your mind where it should be, to prepare, to avoid last year, of course, but to go beyond this year? Uh, so today I'm really disappointed about my skate, but tomorrow it's a new day, a new start. And um, yeah, I think I, I will cry at the hotel. And then when everything's out, I, I can start all over again and tomorrow it will start. And yeah, just to have the trust again and to enjoy skating. Thank you. So if there are no any other questions over here on site, we can go to the remote. Do we have questions remote? Any questions from remote? So we don't have any questions from remote either. So thank you very much for all three. Uh, we will finish. We will finish this um, Women's Short Program press conference. Good luck for all of you for the free program on Saturday. Thank you, Thank you. and Thank kitos. You. Thank you.